Okay, here I'm going to give a brief overview of light emitting plasma grow lights or LEP grow lights. You see one uh, right here. Um, the small little jelly bean or peanut area is where the light comes from. And while that is a very small um, initial starting point, it can easily cover um, a sufficient grow light competitive with most um, high intensity discharge light. Now, plasma grow lights generate a near full spectrum of light and they are incredibly energy efficient. They have low wattage solid state bulbs that are in the full spectrum of light from ultraviolet to infrared and all with no moving parts or electrodes. And here is the LEP light. They're similar to ceramic metal halides we see here, just kind of on a quick visual comparison. And we can clearly see the difference between these two to a high pressure sodium light in the background of this image. Now the advantages of plasma lights is they have no basically minimal moving parts they're very quiet operation. However, they're fixed. They can't dim them at all. Uh, they're very expensive in comparison to ceramic metal halides. And the emitter, uh, which, can, which can fail over time, is often not replaced. So because of these reasons, probably ceramic metal halides tend to be more popular than all the benefits associated with LDP lights.